Greetings Commanders, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how exactly to fully customize your Late Dangerous cockpit using an EDHM UI. We'll cover the installation, setup, and advanced tools like how to have different HUD colors for every ship in your fleet. Let's go ahead and jump in! Now by default, the Elite Dangerous Cockpit looks like the classic orange HUD. With EDHM, you can transform that into anything you want. Neon green, deep blues, stealth purples, and even acid green. And the best part, with your companion app, you can save profiles and have your ships automatically switch HUD colors whenever you swap. Now, how do we do this? Well, first off, we need to head over to bluemystical.github.io. I'll have a link down in the script down below, but all you have to do is click on the download now. Then once it's done, go and open it up. When you go to open it, it's going to have the Windows protected your PC. Click more info and run anyways. So this is not a Windows app. It'll always have that pop up. So today we're going to be doing a more in-depth tutorial on version 3. There's nothing you can actually change in that settings. All you have to do is keep on clicking next and launch when you're finished. All right, so from here, you can actually set up where your executable is. Make sure you're on the correct game version. So they have Odyssey Live, Horizon Live, Horizon Legacy, and Odyssey Alternate Account. So if you want to have two different accounts, you can actually do that, which is really cool. Now, when it's looking for your full path to the game's executable, if you're going through Steam, the easiest way to find out where you need to go is Properties. Head over to Installed Files, and then click Browse. This will show you the exact directory that your game is going to be located in. As you see, we're in the Steam library, Steam Apps, Common, and then scroll down until you find Elite Dangerous, and then you're going to look for your executable. Alright, so when you're inside of the Elite Dangerous folder, you want to head over to Products, and then click on Elite Dangerous Odyssey. And then from here, you'll notice their executable is going to be 98,000 kilobytes. Or you can use the game localization wizard and it should automatically find it for you. If you had it previously, you want to make sure you delete your old EDHM UI folder. If not, it's going to pop up that error code. Now, one other thing that you're going to have to delete is this shaders fix folder. This is going to be what EDHM uses. So delete both your EDHM INI and your shader fixes if you had this previously. And then now you should be able to head back over to the settings and then click save changes and it should update automatically. You're going to notice that version 21 is now installed. So from here, you can fully customize your cockpit and you don't even have to do anything like crazy. So let's say we wanted to just try this Ace Combat. Right click, apply the theme. Now, before we actually get inside the game, you're going to notice immediately that everything is green instead of orange. It even changes your main menu. It's not going to be anything that's going to break your terms of service. This is a completely legal mod for the game. So as you can see, right now everything is green. All right, so how do we actually customize multiple ships in the game? Well, you want to head over to the shipyard. If you're having an issue where it shows zero out of zero ships, even though you have multiple ships in the game, this is where we're going to need to make sure it's put into the right journal location. And if it's not actually reading from there, then you have to run it inside of admin mode in order to get the permissions properly to use it. Now, if you're having an issue where it's not actually reading your data, you want to click uninstall EDHM. You want to head over to where it says settings. From here, make sure you physically point towards your journal location. For example, it should be C, Users, Your Profile, Save Games, Frontier Developments, and then Elite Dangerous. That should have your player's location inside that folder. Same with the game, make sure you're pointing to the right location, and then click Save Changes. As long as it says installed and you have zero error codes down here at the bottom, then you know you're good to go. From here, relaunch the game. So let's start with the basics first. Let's say you want to swap over to Poach Purple and Orange. So click Apply Theme, then in-game all you have to do is click F11, and now you're going to notice your HUD instantly changes to match the new preset. So now that we have our journal working correctly, you want to head back over to the shipyard and click Enable Shipyard, and it's not going to find it at first until you click the Refresh button. And now it's actually going to be pulling up our ship data. You're going to notice that it only lists one ship though, even though we own many. Well, that's because we're going to have to manually swap into the ship. So to do that, head over to your shipyard, pick on any ship that you want, for example, the Corsair, and we need to load into the ship itself. Then from here, the shipyard will pick it up. All right, so make sure you have a toggle down here at the bottom where it says shipyards enabled. It looks like we're going to have to manually swap into every single one of our ships for it to actually work. So, for example, we could have the uh, Corsair set to 
Space 1999. Now, when you embark your ship, the app will detect the change. You automatically apply the selected themes. Maybe we'll have the other one set to Elite Dangerous Orange. That way, it's easier to tell the difference. I didn't realize that was going to be another purple theme. All right, so one caveat to the shipyard, it looks like we're manually going to have to click F11 for it to update in-game. That's going to be the only function to refresh it, but it did swap and it remembered our choice. Now, another thing that you're able to do inside of this application, you can head over to the main menu and from here, you click on the 3P mods plugins. So they have really cool things for like explorers, for example, to make it so it's easier to see the biome overlay. They have the clean screenshots mods. They have the graphics tweaks to increase the fidelity of stars in the universe. And then they also have some more specific case ones like the thick orbital lines or Odyssey light night mod. Literally all you have to do is click on where it says click here and it'll automatically grab it. There's some that I personally think is a little bit more cool compared to others. Like the hyperspace mod, the FSS overlay, the graphics tweaks, the clean screenshots, and the enhanced biome data. You can also go for the fuel scoop, the no message box, the Odyssey key bindings, the Odyssey light night mod, or the thick orbital lines. And as always, you can have a toggable thing on your keyboard. Turn off HUD and hyperspace. Ooh, that'd be cool. Sable starlight and hyperspace, extra dark hyperspace. Key bindings for HUD, binding for star destination, bindings for extra dark hyperspace mode. FFS overlay. This is basically just going to have a whole different like set of color spectrums that way you're able to easily identify each different star location versus planets and everything else. We have the graphics tweaks, which looks like it should just bump up the quality. We have clean screenshots. If you're into taking screenshots, this will actually be pretty cool. So you can toggle tire tracks, toggle spotlight reflections, and toggle holograms. Then the enhanced biome overlay. This should make sure that it's not going to be overwritten by any of your color choices since it is a HUD mod. Basically everything you change affects other stuff, but you can go in and tweak like the individual settings themselves through the properties and global settings. This will be able to determine exactly everything that you can actually do inside the game. Now one thing that you probably want to try to avoid is a lot of very heavy red mods, mainly because red's usually for danger so it might be hard for you to actually spot hostile targets on the map. Now for anyone worried about it completely changing everything, this is just going to be changing what you actually see inside the menu. So for example, like people popping up or holograms, those are all going to be the normal colors. The one thing to keep in mind, it does not seem to be automatically updating like it's supposed to. So each profile is being loaded though. So if you just click F11, that'll automatically update it to the new HUD that your ship should be automatically swapping to. Now, if your HUD doesn't change colors, make sure your ship recognition is enabled. So once again, that would be inside the shipyard. You have to have this button down here clicked. You need to swap into your ships manually to actually see the profiles inside the list. If you're not able to get to this part, that means that you failed your file pass settings. So make sure you point it to the right executable and also the right player journal location. They do have a game localization wizard that should find everything for you. If you're having issues and it's still not working and it's popping up a whole bunch of error codes, then I recommend coming up here to the top left and clicking uninstall EDHM and then do a fresh install once you point it to the correct folder locations. But from here, like literally, if you wanted to make your own custom profile, let's say you wanted a combat and analysis HUD. You can do a custom color. You can also do an XML and then you can fully like change the way that it's going to behave in game for yourself. I'm going to spend some time make a custom theme and I will update the comment section once we fully have one to set up for our ships. And that is exactly how you master the EDHM UI. If this helped, drop a like, subscribe and check out my full playlist of Elite Dangerous Guides and Builds. Fly safe, commanders, and make your cockpit your own.